In this video, we explain the reorganization utility and its main features. DB Reorg is part of the database utilities. Its purpose is to maintain the tables that are prone to very fast expansion, leading to terabytes of stored historical records and the inevitable impacts on database performance. Running DB Reorg on a regular basis and for every client is absolutely vital. This being said, without meticulous configuration, DB Reorg is mostly ineffective, even if you run it every day. It has to be properly set up and scheduled, even for smaller systems. We focus on three main aspects. The configuration of the utility using the INI file. There's a couple of settings that we need to consider. We look at the configuration of the utility's criteria per se, using the utility interface. This is needed before the REOR utility can be automated using batch modes. Finally, we'll consider how to execute the utility in batch mode on the command line so it can be scheduled on a regular basis. Let's consider the DB Reorg utility. The file is called UCBDBRE. The Reorg targets tables that have a tendency to expand very quickly. In doing so, the utility marks certain records for deletion, which are later permanently removed with the DB Unload utility. The five tables that are targeted by the Reorg are those whose expansion rates caused by normal operation of the system are very high. They are the message table, which contains all the system messages, the reports table, which stores all the reports associated with tasks, the statistics table, which contains the list of past executions, the object version table, which contains the entire set of versions created incrementally for every object, and finally the object audits table, which contains the revision reports generated by the revision report utility. In the majority of cases, the reorg is executed in batch mode on the command line. The syntax is the UCBDBRE executable, followed by the dash B option for batch mode and the dash S option for the client targeted by the reorg, since it's client specific. These two options are mandatory. The dash V option prints the atomic automation version and it's optional. Assuming the executable is in the same directory as the INI file, then the dash I option, which points to the location of this file, is optional as well. If you've changed the location, then you must use the option. In and of itself, DB Reorg does not delete records or clean tables. It merely flags records for deletion. DB Reorg must be used in conjunction with DB Unload to permanently remove the records. Finally, invoking DB Reorg in batch mode requires logging into the utility, and the current user is the one attempting to log in. Note that for this to succeed, you must have a matching Atomic Automation user object. DB Reorg also has a simple user interface. We rely on this user interface to fine tune the reorg criteria. Here we indicate how far back we need to go in days in the cleaning process for each table. To invoke it, we simply use the executable with the jar extension for Windows or the sh extension for Unix. This will initiate a simple client login screen. Once past this, we adjust the settings and save them. DB reorg can then be submitted in batch mode and there won't be a need to return to this UI unless the settings need to be changed again. If your Unix environment does not provide graphical capabilities, or you do not want to use this user interface, criteria values can also be set in a variable in AWI. We're going to show this as well. In the settings menu, we can enable reorg for each table with an on-off switch and decide what to keep. There are different options. For example, for the messages table, we can set different values in days for the read versus unread messages. When you save your settings, these values are immediately reflected in a client variable called uc underscore utility underscore reorg in AWI. In the event the utility is on a host that does not support UI capabilities, you can adjust these values in uc underscore utility underscore reorg. It's actually quite common. The UI has a file menu with two options. The first option is the forecast invoked before executing a reorg. It shows the volume of data that will be impacted by the reorg process. The second option is the reset deletion flags, which removes all flags, meaning that records marked for deletion will no longer be in that state. When you submit DB reorg in batch mode, the current user must have a matching user object in the administration tools in AWI. Failing this, you'll be faced with an access deny message. The user does not require authorizations or privileges. By extension, being familiar with login objects and the way Atomic Automation authenticates on the agent system, you realize that the user object should also have a matching login object if you're going to incorporate your reorg in an executable job object for the purposes of automation. 
The DB Reorg is a database utility. Like all utilities, it has an INI configuration file with the usual information about logging, language, and more. It contains one section of interest, the Reorg section. It contains two settings with default values that need to be changed. Auto underscore Reorg sets the default value of the number of Reorg days for all tables. It's set to 365, which means that irrespective of the criteria values, data older than a year will be marked for deletion. The No Archive Check setting is set to zero by default. This in effect nullifies DB Reorg. The Reorg does nothing. For DB Reorg to work, you must change the value to one. Finally, we have a number of very important recommendations that will be conveyed to you by our support and services teams. First, you should retain longer statistics because that data is important. Reports, on the other hand, do not need long retention cycles. We should reiterate how important it is to use deactivation functions for completed tasks. Task deactivation should be automated so that completed tasks do not remain in the field of current operations. Deactivated means that they are accounted for and no longer require operational management. This is particularly important because DB Reorg does not affect active tasks, even those that may have completed weeks ago. You must deactivate your task to keep your system clean. Execute Reorg every day, even if your system is neither expansive nor complex. It is absolutely vital for atomic automation to continue to work. Make sure you enable No Archive Check and consider the value assigned to the Auto Reorg setting. Both settings can be changed in the INI file. Do not forget to reorg client zero. This is a common mistake and can be a costly one. You should always reorg all five tables. Even if you don't currently use the revision report utility, you might enable it in the future. If you do so, but forget to reorg the table, you're pretty much assured to run into issues. Enabling the reorg now doesn't hurt and it will save you a ton of headaches down the roads. Finally, and this is very important, you should be aware that when you execute the reorg, all objects in the recycle bin will be marked for deletion and removed permanently when DB unload executes. If you make extensive use of the recycle bin or have a tendency to delete objects by mistake, know that when reorg executes, those objects will be lost forever.